A Navy veteran died after crashing on his motorcycle last weekend. Now his wife and daughter are sharing more about his story and the legacy they're trying to keep alive. Action News reporter Vince Ibarra explains how the family plans to continue his passion project business. My phone is so busy with people contacting me and reaching out and they're telling me stories of like, oh, I remember this and I remember that. And and, and it, it's so it's so good to hear those stories because that that's all I have left is those stories. Joanne Crane fighting back tears after her veteran husband Joshua died in a motorcycle collision on February 11th. CHP says Joshua was traveling westbound on State Route 180 east of Peach Avenue. It says he rear-ended a Chevrolet Silverado pickup truck. CHP says he was ejected from his motorcycle and alcohol does not appear to be a factor in this collision. He was then transferred to Community Regional Medical Center where he later died. Joanne says the hospital did everything they could to save her husband. We had to kind of go forward on Valentine's Day and let him go. So that's what we did. Jaden Crane, Joanne and Joshua's daughter started a GoFundMe account. She says it's to help with the piling medical bills and funeral costs, but also to continue his passion project. This was such a big part of his life and he's been working on it so hard for over five years now. The family says he started the business after traveling the world while he was enlisted in the Navy. They say he felt he could make an award-winning whiskey and he did, winning three awards. Jaden says her dad was starting to teach her the ins and outs of his whiskey business, Toasted Oak. She says she shared a special bond with her father. He's always been there to love and support on people, and he was just a great dad and a great friend and a great business partner, all of it. Jaden was holding on to the watch that her father was wearing on the day he passed, and she's never letting go of the memories they shared. That was Vince Barra reporting that GoFundMe account has received several thousand dollars in donations. For more information on how to support the family, you can visit our website, abc30.com.